it's Blake Jacobs here and I'm an educator with Mozo Cybersecurity Institutes and welcome to this lesson on threat hunting with Yara. Now let's have a little talk about the background. So Yara is a blue team of Swiss Army knife for searching gigabytes, terabytes and petabytes worth of malware samples and hunting for threat actors, or hunting with threat actors. Now the exercise, um, you have to download Yara and create a data set of known good files that are that are at least 15 gigabytes worth of files. Now, this is the actions and specifications here. You download the latest version of Yara, download a legitimate ISO installers for Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. Install all three versions of Windows into a virtual machine. For each virtual machine, copy the entire C drive into your machine and store the files into a, fol a, fol a folder called known safe, good files, things like this. Download and install hex xd hex editor and, and validation you have to you have to validate you have Yura 64.exe and plus 15 gigs of bytes worth of known good and safe files. Now let's have a look over the, the um, frequently asked questions. So one of the frequently asked questions is what are good files? Now the most known good files are files that come from sources considered to be trustworthy and thus highly unlikely to, to contain malware. Why do I need a repository of good files? Repository of good files. Uh, and this is to avoid writing malware detection rules that report false positives. Example, a legitimate file reported as malware. And where do I copy the files from the virtual machine, machine C drives? So, copy them to your host machine. Now, your host machine is your physical machine. It's what you're using at, at, at a, a very physical level. So, you've got a virtual machine which is running on top of your machine. So, your physical machine is your actual operating system, your physical machine, and your virtual machine is like a virtual, I mean, a operating system in virtual box. That's your virtual machine. So, let's get started and let's have a look at the agenda. Okay, so let's have a look at the agenda. <clears throat> so we're going to be covering what is Yara, uh, also what is threat hunting, and how we can copy files from our virtual machine to our host machine. We're going to also be covering what are good files, and then we're going to go through a technical demonstration. So first of all, what is Yara? Now Yara is the name of a tool primarily used in malware research and detection. It provides a rule-based approach to, cr to create descriptions of malware families based on textual or binary patterns. A description is essentially a Yara rule name, where the rules consist of a sets, sets of strings and Boolean expressions. Booleans return either true or false. So what is threat hunting? Now, cyber threat hunting is an active cyber defense activity. It is the process of proactively and iteratively searching through networks to detect and isolate advanced threats that evade existing security solutions. So, the next one is how to copy files from a VM to host machine. Um, and this is going to be especially, especially useful for the exercise specification. Now, one way to achieve this is to create a shared folder on your host machine with the correct permissions to then use in your virtual machine to copy files from and to. Uh, we'll cover, we'll, we'll go for an example on how to do this later on. Now, what are good files? Now, good files are various threat hunting to avoid false positives. For example, scanning thousands of computers in a corporate infrastructure or network with some Yara rules or patterns would require to eliminate false positives with good files. So let's have a look at a technical demonstration. Now, the first thing I'm going to look at, uh, show you is uh, a Yara rule. So this is a Yara rule right here, and this is to detect a silent banker, banker malware. Now, as you can see here, the meta is the, just the description and the threat level, so how severe it is, and if it's in the wild or not. And these are the strings we're going to be looking out for to detect to see if it's on the system or not. So A, B, and C are the strings, and the condition is if A or B or C um, so if A exists, or B exists, or C exists, then it will return true, therefore it's, a, it's on the machine. 
Um, these are really cool. Uh, this is actually Yarra here. This is really cool for up. Uh, even shows you lots of different rules you can find. Uh, it even tells you who's using Yarra. So big cyber security companies are using Yarra, especially Heroku. Uh, there's a lot of companies using Kaspersky Lab. There's a very big uh, cyber security threat intelligence agency, uh, and they're all using Yarra. It's very, uh, very useful. Um, so apart from that, Let's have a look at uh, a, a, how we can create a shared drive to copy from our virtual machine to our host machine. So what you need to do is you're just going to go to, um, I'll just say example, we'll go to um, a new folder in my documents. I'm just going to create a new folder in my documents folder. And we'll go to share. I'm just going to move this across to my second screen. So as you can see here, I've got this, this folder here called shared. I'll just... Can I zoom in? Yes, I can. Go on, zoom like that. So I've got this shared folder here. I want to share this on the public network, on the local network, so I can access it inside my virtual machine. So what we need to do is right click. We need to go to um. We need to uh. Where is it? Uh, we need to uh create a shared drive. So we need to go to properties. Uh, we need to go to sharing, and we need to just click on share here. And we choose which user is able to view this um, shared folder. We'll just go user. Uh, and we could also type in um, here, we could type in uh, the virtual machine I use up right there. And that's that will be who can ask, access the, the virtual the shared folder. So you type in the, the virtual machine user here. Make sure it's on um, the make sure the virtual machine is visible on the network. If you have it to NAT, which is also known as network address translation, it may have a different IP. It might be isolated from the um, the host environment, which is probably what you would like what would want to use um, if you like open up malware and stuff as a NAT a NAT network interface. Um, but just use um, for now. Just you know, just use the virtual machine user here. Go to share. So for example, I'll go share here. Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to turn on network discovery. Just click yes. Uh, that's the shared folder there. So go done. Uh, we may need to go to advanced sharing and share, share this folder. And we can do it like this. Um, and then we can choose um, the permissions uh, to see what, what we actually have permissions to do. We can read or we can have full control, which is generally what we want to do for everyone. And then we just click OK. Um, OK, close. And now this folder should be shared on the network and we should be able to access it anywhere on the network uh, like so. So, and then what you should be able to do is go to your, this PC um, and I think it's network actually and your shared folder should be here somewhere. Um, so searching, uh, it should be there uh, on the network. So obviously if you're using uh, Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 um, you would put your virtual machine would show up. Uh, your, sorry, your shared folder would show up here. Um, it's not for some reason. Let's have a look at this. So, uh, where's my shared folder? Or maybe I haven't shared it yet. Where is it? Shared. Let's do this again. So, let's go to properties, sharing. Yeah, so we just type in this network path here, and we should be able to access it. So, if I do this uh, in CMD, run, and I type in that there, like so, I should open up the shared drive. There you go, right there. So you do that on your uh, virtual machine. You'll type in that uh, shared uh, drive uh, like this. You'll type in that, and you'll be able to access it. And then that from there on, once you can create a folder called something like Good Files, and you might have a, uh, three subfolders. Like you might have uh, Windows Seven. And they have Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. And from there on, we need to copy each C drive. So you have a Windows 7 virtual machine, a Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and you copy the whole C drive from each of those uh, operating systems on your virtual machine into each subfolder. And that will that's how you basically use that. Um, and that's pretty much it for the demonstration, technical demonstration. Let's go back to our PowerPoint slide. That is pretty much it for the technical demonstration. So I hope you love this video um, and enjoy this lesson. It's a very useful threat intelligence is very cool. Threat hunting is awesome, good fun. Um, and thank you very much for being a big part of the community. And I will see you in future videos. Catch you later. Happy hacking.